Hi, good afternoon. Welcome to Bridgewater, Somerset. Um, the sun was out. It's not now gone behind a cloud, but it, here it's very pleasant sitting in the garden. Um, recently, I've been looking at an issue that is not quite so pleasant, a little bit more difficult to work through. Um, the International Director of Reach Across put out a video on the theology of suffering. Quite a difficult topic to process. And as I watched the video and thought through the issues, yes, uh, the message that we take, many of our workers take in the countries where we work, can bring much suffering. Uh, suffering in the sense that men and women who embrace the Christian faith from a Muslim background are often excluded from their families, from their communities. Uh, there may be persecution, there may be death threats, but certainly the isolation can cause many difficulties. And uh, we, we have testimonies of some of those difficulties of some of the struggles that believers have been through. We, we all know the importance of community. I think the pandemic has uh, shown us how important it is to be part of a community where we get the support, uh, whether it's mental health issues we're working through, whether it's issues of unemployment, uh, lack of finance, whatever. Community is so important, the community of our church, community of the neighborhood where we live, of family members. We, we just know community is so important, and yet we bring a message that often can bring to isolation bring isolation to men and women. So what about this? Um, well, I was thinking through, struggling through the issue. And again, I thought of Colossians chapter one. I'd like to read some verses from Colossians chapter one, because again, they spoke to me. Colossians chapter one, beginning of the verse 15. Christ is a visible likeness of the invisible God. He is the firstborn son superior to all created things. For through him God created everything in heaven and on earth, the seen and the unseen things, including spiritual powers, lords, rulers and authorities. God created the whole universe through him and for him. Christ existed before all things, and in union with him, all things have their proper place. Wow, again, just thinking through this passage, God created the whole universe through Christ, uh, through him and for him. Well, if, if God created the whole universe for Christ, then surely uh, we have a duty to uh, challenge every pretension, every person that is set up in the place of Christ, who is worshipped, every mechanism, every system, that is in place that detracts from the centrality of Christ being the one whom we should worship. Again, I thought of um, the early church and um, Christ himself prophesying right at the beginning when he brought this message um, of the separation it would cause in Luke chapter 12, verse 53. Christ says, from now on, five in one household, household will be divided three against two. So Christ himself um, prophesied the, of the difficulties that his message would bring. Uh, and yet his early disciples were faithful in bringing that message. We, we know the early church uh, began a meeting in the temple and then to some extent in, a, in the synagogues and yet it wasn't long before they were thrown out of the synagogue and groups of believers met in households, in uh, people's homes. And that's been the experience right through history where the gospel has been, been proclaimed faithfully. There has been this exclusion, unfortunately, from community and the need for God's people to work, to meet on their own, in their own communities. So we do have this privilege and this need to uh, present a, a message that will bring in places difficulty and exclusion uh, from community. And yet there's also joy. Christ himself, 
writer of Hebrews said of Christ that it was before the because of the joy set before him that he endured the cross. And again, there is a joy that Christ promises to believers who are struggling, who are um, isolated, who have um, financial needs, who have needs um, relating to mental health, whatever. There is still a joy to be found in following Christ. But more than that, there is the, the certain hope of reconciliation, uh, where uh, at the renewal of all things, as it says in Romans, those who are found in Christ will be reconciled to creation, to their brothers and sisters in Christ. Whereas those who follow empty um, pretensions and set up systems, religious systems that lead nowhere, those will vanish. And unfortunately, there will be an exclusion. Uh, that point of separation, as, as scripture makes clear. So I thought I'd just like to share this uh, brief thought with you this afternoon. Again, it's not easy thinking, but it's something that I've been working through and perhaps some of you also have at times have thought through. Um, I would encourage you to return to Colossians chapter one, uh, read it. Um, and again, it just sets in place who is the one to be worshipped, centrality of Christ, uh, the one through whom and for whom everything was created. Amen. <laughs>